Today, we will be looking for the solution of the integral 1 divided by quantity u squared plus a squared raised to 3 halves using trigonometric substitution. First, draw a right triangle. And let's assume that the integration variable u is along the vertical side. Now, choosing whether u or a is on the vertical, horizontal, or hypotenuse of the triangle actually depends on the problem. Again here, let's assume that u is on the vertical axis and the constant a is on the horizontal side of the triangle. Apparently, the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of u squared plus a squared as dictated by the Pythagorean theorem. Now, based on the figure, this triangle has an angle of theta at this corner. Then, u equals a tangent theta. Then, the derivative of u or du is equal to a second square theta. Then, by chain rule, d theta. Also, from the figure, we could deduce that cosine theta is equal to adjacent, which is a, divided by the hypotenuse, which is square root of u squared plus a squared. And rearranging this expression, we have square root of u squared plus a squared a second theta. Now, when deriving an expression for the square root of u squared plus a squared, we want to have a trigonometric function that connects the square root of u squared plus a squared with a instead of u. That's why we choose cosine theta earlier instead of sine theta. Now, we do this because apparently it is much easier to integrate expressions with constants rather than another integration variable like u. Now that we have this expression, we can now replace our original Original integral with trigonometric expressions. Let me rewrite it here. Integral of du divided by quantity u squared plus a squared raised to 3 half equals integral of du here is this one. So I will write a second square theta d theta divided by uh, this term. And this term is raised to 3 because this is raised to 3 halves. So I can put this constant outside the integral sign. Now, we have an expression for sine theta and we just need to return from our figure to plug the original integration variable u and constant a. So, based on this figure, sine theta is equal to u divided by square root of u squared plus a squared. Now, c here is a constant. We can assume that it's equal to zero since we don't have any boundary conditions or initial conditions. Note that the result of a square root can be positive or negative. So I'll put positive negative here. And that's it. We have solved the integral of du over quantity u squared plus a squared raised to 3 halves. And it is equal to u over positive minus a squared square root of u squared plus a squared plus a constant. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates. Thank you for watching.